Hello everybody, this is Sherry from Shaza Blue Crochet and I have another unboxing video from Hobby for you. Hope you enjoy this and let's get started. In one Hobby bag it is three Hobby bags. We have Lucky Bags actually, one of cotton, one of acrylic, and one of wool. So let's see what we have inside of them. I'm setting aside everything first so that I can show you this, which um, I don't know if you know earlier, I did an unboxing and I got uh, a couple of these water bottles, which I just loved, so I figured that I would try out the thermoses. And I ended up with the purple thermos. Inside of here. In the box. This is actually pretty nice. It's it's like a matte finish on it. It says hot crocheter. Um, I'm guessing so that uh, uh, it says that you have hot liquids in there, but um, the. Um, opening is easy enough to uh, do with one one hand. That's always a plus. Unscrewing it isn't too difficult. Make sure that you throw away the gel in there before you uh, put any hot liquids in there. Probably also want to wash it too. Um, but yeah, that's the first item is the hot crocheter thermos. Let's move on to the first one, which I think is the cotton bag, because this one was one kilo, uh, as opposed to the others, which are 500 grams. So um, let's have a look and see what's in the cotton bag first. Let's just go for it and tear it right in the middle. You get to see all that goodness inside. It looks like a bunch of rainbow um, cotton. Um, some of them are in 8-8 eight eight size, which is a size 3 lightweight, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. That's uh, pretty close to what I'm using most times. This is also an 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, let's see, yeah, 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm going to start putting the 8-8s eight, over here. Uh, this one also 8-8. Eight, eight. This one is an 8-4. So let's put him over here. 8-4. Uh, 8-4. 8-8 eight, eight quality. Uh, this one is an 8-4. This one is a little bit different because it's different colors, but it is also an 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, this is also an 8-8. Eight 8-4. Eight. Eight 8-4. Eight 8-4. Eight 8-4. Eight this one is an 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, this is baby cotton, 100% Egyptian cotton, so I believe that is a 8.4 as well, or a size 1. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, these are a size 1, and the baby cotton is a size 1. But so far, all of them have been uh, like the rainbow 8.8 uh, eight eight or 8.4. Eight um, this one is... Uh, the baby cotton, organic G Egyptian cotton, which um, well, I'm trying to think, are they softer than, you know, I really can't tell that much of a difference between the Egyptian cotton and the regular cotton. It both feels really kind of soft to me. I mean, 
okay well maybe maybe a little bit softer maybe the the baby cotton is a tiny bit softer than um, the uh, regular rainbow cotton so then we have Mayflower cotton eight which is also the same size as this uh, hobby eight eight quality uh, let me just double check uh, it doesn't say on it it just says eight but I think if I check the meters on it it's going to be pretty comparable no this one has 170 meters for 50 gram ball and this one has 75 meters for a 50 gram ball so it is going to be more comparable to the 8.4 in size so we'll put that over there uh, this is also an Egyptian cotton baby cotton um, uh, ball yeah it's just as soft as that gray is nice and the last one is an 8.4 so I got two balls of the baby Egyptian cotton which is only slightly um, softer than the regular stuff that I can tell and I ended up with 10 of the 8 fours which is you know nice um, and then I ended up with 8 of the 8-8. Eight, eight. see what's in here. This one is the wool bag. I can tell already it is the wool bag. Um, let's see what we got. Let's get everything out of the bag first and then we can take a look and see what it is. Get rid of the plastic bag. Alright. No, I've already been working with this one. This one is 100% um, Happy Sheep Baby Wool. I have been working with the Happy Sheep Wool Power quite a bit lately. Um, I've been doing some felted projects and so I absolutely love the Happy Sheep brand. Uh, I've been quite pleased with that, especially for felting. It really does a, a good job. So there's one of those. Um, let me see. Yeah, this is a size one. So you're using a like a three millimeter hook with it, which is fine. That's that's my favorite. And then let's move on to the other three millimeter, the light, uh, the lightweight yarns. This one also looks like it's a one but might be a two it doesn't really say all it says is that it is 100 percent pure wool and it is merino easy care merino um, i have bought this stuff before i think in a, a little bit thicker um, uh, yarn it's not this thin, I know that. Uh, so there is that one. And this is like in a burgundy color. It's really nice, really pretty. About 185 meters on that ball. And this one, let me see, there is... Let me double check. Uh, it says 180 meters on that one. So, okay, now for the thicker stuff. The Snowstorm, which is 100% wool. Um, this one is a 5 weight, and you're going to use an 8 millimeter hook on this one. Uh, it's, it's a pretty blue color, periwinkle more, I think. It just has the colors number seven. But um, yeah, that's that's a really pretty color. Um, Molly, 100% wool. 
this is 135 liters this is also I would guess to be a size 5 weight as well I can't imagine that being anything but a 5 weight especially since the snowstorm is a 5 weight and I think that they are extremely similar So, yeah, five weight. And this one is kind of a, uh, a peachy pink. This one is also a Molly, and it is 100% wool again. Um, the color is four, but it looks like it is an orange color, a light orange. Again, it looks like a five weight, but it does not say on here. Maybe they're getting rid of the older yarns. Um, so who knows? Uh, this is also a Molly. Again, I think a five weight, but it does look to be like a bit of a roving yarn where it gets uh, thicker and then there's thinner spots. But that is also with the wool power stuff it has its thick spots and it has its thin spots um, so this one it says that it is 135 meters 100 percent wool but I can imagine that it's at least a four if not a five probably closer to a five weight uh, this one is definitely a five weight because it says that it's a five weight on there and it is the snowstorm again. You get two of these ones. One is like a light blue and the other is the periwinkle blue. I like them both. Um, both of them are 50 grams. Both are 50 meters. Very pretty. 100% wool again. So, what I got was one of the baby wool, one of the Easy Care Merino, three of the Mollies, and you know, they're not actually that bad of a color combination. Maybe you can combine the three and make something. Um, and then there's the two Snowstorm, which is also very pretty. Okay, and here we are in the last bag, which is the acrylic lucky bag. Let's see what is in here. Let's see some universe, which I've had before. That's nice. And maybe some carnival, which I've had before. I'm not sure. Yes, carnival. This is a roving yarn. This one actually looks to be like a lighter carnival than what I was working with. I think mine was a little bit thicker of uh, uh, Carnival at that time. Um, this is a three weight, which is a lightweight. Um, it's actually a very beautiful color. It's like a dark blue into a royal blue, aqua blue, um, dark gray, steel gray, light gray. It's, it's absolutely stunning. And I have two of those colors. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And then I have two of the Universe. It looks like one is a Universe Extra Large, which is the three weight. This one right here, it's a three weight. And I have the regular universe, which is the one weight. It's not as thick, but they are the same color. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I was curious about this universe and the three weight. I definitely have more of these, so I can actually use them with the other uh, universe that I have. There's quite a substantial, a substantial amount of meters on this. There's 
462 meters or 505 yards on this and you're using a three and a half millimeter hook and this this is gorgeous I want to get some more of this um, because I think that that could make a really pretty project and it definitely could stand alone as a yarn um, it's definitely more thick than the other um, and it definitely would make a better project I think okay and the last two uh, balls are um, this like navy blue color of Amigo acrylic yarn um, it is also a three weight so it is the lighter weight it's not the Amigo chunky it is just the regular Amigo yarn um, and I haven't worked with this size before but I have worked with a different size the Amigo extra large and the Amigo extra large is actually quite nice yarn and I made um, a Sophie's universe out of that and I really enjoyed it I thought that that was a lot of fun I just had a bunch of them and they were in all different colors so I figured I would just grab the next one and see what I came up with and would just go from there but um, it turned out to be a beautiful blanket and I will include a picture of that somewhere on the screen and I have a sweater that I made with the carnival um, it was in a different color at the time but I have worked with this yarn before and I will post a picture of that up as well so this is it for my yarn haul I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and boop the bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching